Okay, so here's Hudson. Hudson is actually quite complicated. Actually, all of us are quite complicated. I mean, sorry, yeah. Yeah, Hudson, you're complicated. That's right, I was just making sure I got things right there. Okay, because within Hudson, there are three lives. He's not, he's not that simple. And there's also, there's also four laws involved with him. And these are all covered in Romans 7 and 8, and I'm not going to get into all of them, but I just want to give you the illustration here. And firstly, he has a body, and in his body there's a law. It's called the law of sin and death. And because of our fallen nature, there's an inclination away from God, right? So that's the law of sin and death in our flesh. Also, Hudson has a mind. I mean, he has a soul, excuse me, with a mind, an emotion, will. And there's a law that governs his soul, and that's the law of good. And it's upright. It's based just on our human nature. We want to do what's right, okay? Sin and death in the flesh, law of good in the mind, Then, there's another law. Ah, yes, sweet. Okay, <laughs> before he's regenerated, okay, act like you're sleeping, your head needs to be down. Okay, this is his, his spirit. And there's, well, before he's regenerated, this is what his spirit's like. It's, it's totally inactive. Okay, but then Hudson calls on the Lord. Lord Jesus. A little louder. Oh, Lord Jesus. A little stronger. Jesus. Okay. Yes, and his spirit, his spirit gets regenerated with this, with 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 the spirit. Okay. So now there's the law of the spirit of life in his spirit. So law of sin and death in his flesh. Law of good in his mind. Law of the spirit of life in his spirit. Okay. This is us. We're, we're complicated. Well, you might ask, who is this? <laughs> this is the law of God outside of us. So three are inside, and then one is outside. This is the law of God. And this law is making demands. And law of good in the mind says, yes, I agree. But law of sin and death in the flesh says, no, you don't. <laughs> but then you have the law of the spirit of life. And for Hudson, this is a new discovery. He's gotten regenerated in his spirit. But at this point, his inner man is pretty weak, right? He's not, there's no problem with his spirit, but he's not very strong in exercising his spirit. Instead, he's used to living here in his mind. But now he's very conscious of God's law outside of him. So then Timothy comes along. And Timothy has a new BMW. And Hudson, he loves BMWs. But he, he grew up a poor farm boy. He doesn't, he, Hudson, does not ha, Hudson does not have a penny. And here comes his friend Timothy. They struck it rich on their farm. They discovered oil. He's driving along in his BMW, and he comes up. Hudson, look at my new car. And Hudson's like, oh, nice car, nice car. And then Timothy drives away, and Hudson's just watching him as he drives off. <laughs> and then, but then the law of God outside of him says, thou shalt not covet. I really like that BMW. That's, this is Hudson talking. Thou shalt not covet. So right away, law of good in the mindset, that's right. I cannot covet Timothy's BMW. But then, what does sin and death in his flesh say? Oh. What does he say? What does he say? <laughs> no, he comes along real gently. He comes along real gently. You know, you got to kind of, you oh. grab him around the shoulder. Actually, you do. You really do. So then he enters into this struggle. Okay, who's going to, who's going to, let me ask you a question. Who's going to win this struggle? Any guesses? Yeah. Sin and death in the flesh. Every time. 
every time. And this part in us never goes away. It will be with us until we're raptured. So don't think you're ever going to get delivered from, from this by it going away. That's not the way of deliverance. But every time, okay, so as a young believer, it's like, I need to be good now. I need to do what God requires me to do. So our default is to respond to God's law outside of us. You shall love the Lord your God. You shall not covet. You shall not steal. You shall not, and you shall. Yes, yes. But sin and death in the flesh saying, no, 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 you don't understand. Right? What's he going to do? What's Hudson going to do? can't kill the flesh. Actually, Christ crucified the flesh, right, with its passions and its lust. But where is the reality of that in our experience? It's not with mind deciding, oh, I'm not going to covet. Where, where is the escape? The mingled spirit. So instead of struggling and saying, no, I won't, no, I won't, no, I won't. I won't covet, I won't covet. What does Hudson need to be doing? Oh, Lord Jesus. Exactly. Oh, Lord Jesus. Get out of the struggle. And immediately what happens? Exactly. This is what's going on here. And what he has to learn. Exactly. And what he has to learn how to do is stay here. Set the mind on the spirit. Don't struggle. Just set the mind there. Just begin to call, begin to pray, begin to touch the Lord. Okay, brothers, that's good enough. Sorry, I spent, I spent way too much time on that illustration. Okay. So.